What's going on guys, E here, and welcome back to E-Tech. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to stop your hard drive from going to sleep. This is a major issue, and I've had this problem as well. I finally figured out a way to fix it, and I decided I gotta share it with you guys, because, you know, that's what you do when you find solutions to things, you share it with the world. So... That's what we're doing in this video. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get straight into this. All right, so first, the, I'm gonna show you both ways on how to do this. So first, what you wanna do is you go, you're going to wanna go to your control panel, go to your system and security, power options, power options, and whatever your power plan is set to, hit change plan settings, and then change advanced power settings. This is, this is where you will see some of the problems. Most of the problems aren't shown here, and that's where I've, I'm, you've probably seen this before in a different video, and it hasn't fixed your issue. I'm showing it to those that, where this would fix their issue, because there's another way that you probably have not seen in any video. So, basically you open up hard disk after you're in advanced settings, turn off hard disk after, and then go to the setting, set it to zero, and then that's all you gotta do with that, and then, with USB settings, go to USB selective suspend settings and set that to disabled because that will shut off the power to the USBs and you don't want that either. So once you hit apply and OK, you're done with that. Now it's up to part two. Alright guys, so once you get to the site, all you're going to want to do is hit download and it will be it will be like a one second download. It's a tiny file. Oh, well, that was an accident. Then you're going to want to open up the file and you're going to want to just drag out the two files onto your desktop or wherever you feel the need to put it and if you try to run it just like that it will not open because it needs to be ran as administrator because that's just very important mine is set to run in the background so i would need to double click this to get it to pop up if this happens for you all you got to do is go to your system tray and double click on no sleep hd and now all you got to do is go here you select whatever disk you want and I have mine set to disk J, that's my external drive, and all you do is whatever, however long it takes for your drive to go to sleep, if it's like just one minute, mine goes to sleep after two minutes, so I set it to one minute. So I have it write a file, it, all it does is write a blank text file, and then it deletes it afterwards um, onto your hard drive every minute, and it does like almost nothing to the drive itself, like it makes no changes at all, and then all you gotta do is hit start no sleep mode, and I would suggest selecting auto run on startup so then you don't have to worry about it at all and hide the program in system tray that's what I what I had it at before um, and then you don't have to worry about it at all and if there's any problems with it all you gotta do is change the time and make sure that it's started um, and then you should be good that I've been using it for quite some time now and my drives had never shut off so it's re it's a really great program yeah and if you want to you can donate to these guys they're pretty good people um especially the fact that they made this amazing program this program has saved me because i do a lot of t lots of video editing and halfway through editing my video like it'll just my drives will just shut off and it's very frustrating i'm actually going to be editing today this this video as well so um yeah so if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you out, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this because I will be putting out tutorials like this every few days whenever I get the chance. Latest every week, but um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.